Hello, my Gemini friends, and welcome to Indigo Goddess 1111. My name is Indigo, and I'm bringing you your January 2018 Twin Flame Love Reading. I'm going to pull one card from the uh, Romance Angels deck to see where exactly we are in the journey, and that will give us the basis of our reading. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, the Divine Masculine or Feminine can be the Gemini. You do not both have to be. Spirit and Angels, what is... Can you give me one card for the Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Overview of the Twin Flame Journey for January 2018. Where are they in their journey? Give me one card to signify where they are in their journey. Okay, and your card is let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. I will also pull two cards from the Wisdom of the Hidden Realm um, Oracle deck. One card for the Divine Feminine, one card for the Divine Masculine. Spirit Angels and Helpers of the Hidden Realm. Can I have one card per um, Divine Feminine? Whoa. And we're saying not to take those. One card per feminine and one card for the masculine. Okay, and we have the resting tree. That is crazy. The last three um, signs have gotten that. And um, for the divine masculine and... I have shuffled the bejesus, and it's not even the same card. It's not like it's the same two cards. It's just that one that's been every time, well, for the last three readings. Okay, so I will, I'm going to scoot the camera back a little bit, and those along the top. Okay. Spirit Angels, can I have five cards for the Divine Feminine and five cards for the Divine Masculine? Team? The first four cards representing the, each week in the month of January 2018. And the last card, the overall energy of each um, person's energy of the month. What messages do you have for the Divine Masculine and feminine Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in their twin flame journey. Okay, one more shuffle, Spirit is saying. Okay, so week one for the Divine Feminine, Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Week two is the Ten of Cups. Week three is the Knight of Wands. Week four is the Ace of Pentacles, and week five, or the overview of the month, is the Queen of Swords. Wow, Divine Feminine, this is this is looking pretty good. Okay, can I get five cards for the Divine Masculine, please, Spirit? Same out, same layout as the Divine Feminine. One more shuffle. Okay, and the Divine Masculine has the Emperor in reverse, the World in reverse, the Four of Cups in reverse, the Nine of Swords, Masculines, what's going on, the Page of Pentacles. Wow. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pull my clarifying cards right away, and then I will channel my messages, and I will try to remember to time stamp it when the shuffling is over. I get a clarifying card for the Divine Feminines. Five cards on the table, please. Why is this Wheel of Fortune here in reverse? Why is this Wheel of Fortune here in reverse, Spirit?
A lot of reverse cards and reversals. A lot of um, energy changing. Wow, Divine Masculine, Gemini. You might have a rough, rough month of January. Okay, I'm going to timestamp this at 5.55, and I'm going to begin channeling my messages from Spirit. Okay. So, uh, Divine Feminine, the first week of January, you have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, clarified by the Two of Swords in reverse. So, um, things are not going your way just yet. Uh, the karmic wheel is not turning in your favor, um, because something is stopping it and it's being clarified by, um, the two swords in reverse. So there wasn't a choice being made between two things, two people, two, um, situations, two outcomes, whatever it may be. Um, but it, with it being in reverse, there will be a decision made now. Um, before it was just kind of left up to the universe. Now it is no longer. Um, and that is why the Wheel of Fortune has not turned um, at this point yet. Because nobody was making a decision. The Divine Masculine has the Emperor in reverse. And it's being clar clarified by the Queen of Pentacles. So everybody's out of balance. Um, you, uh, Divine Masculine, you... Um, are kind of, you feel emotionally out of it. Like you don't know which end is up or what is right, what is wrong. Um, you're just so confused by this connection that everything you thought it was before, like now everything's different. Like you can't quite wrap your head around what is going on. You can't explain emotionally what you're going through. You can't explain to your friends, your family, you just you don't even know how to put it into words yet. The second week of January, the Divine Feminine um, has the Ten of Cups, clarified by the Five of Swords. So you're wanting this connection so bad, you would do almost anything to get it. Um, you have thought of whatever you could to get to this point of the Ten of Cups that um, even possibly to the point of not fighting fair. Um, you may have contacted their karmic partner. You may have been trying to cause problems with people they're in a relationship with to get them to split up so he could come back. Um, something along those lines I'm getting. I might have to clarify a little quicker or a little more, I mean. Um, in the second week of January, the Divine Masculine has the world in reverse, clarified by the Two of Wands. So you're not letting things come full circle, and it's causing you to um, not be able to choose which direction you're going, which path you want to take. Um, and then it's not letting this, the cycle end or, um, or to complete. So it's kind of like a vicious circle. Um, in the third week, the Divine Feminine has the Knight of Wands in the upright, clarified by the Nine of Cups in reverse. So the, the Divine Feminine is hoping for, wishing for the Divine Masculine to come in and offer her um, something. Offer her some, at least some kind of communication saying that he's coming back, that he wants her, that he's picking her, um, that he will be back for her because this group of you, you are in separation at this time. The third week in January, the Divine Masculine has the Four of Cups in reverse. So um, you're, you're not content in where you're at, but let me see if I can put that up a little. you're not content in where you're at, but you don't know where you want to go. You're not quite sure what this connection is yet because you still can't put into words what it is. Um, with the Emperor in reverse, you just feel like you're kind of 
like you just don't know how to explain it. I can't really even find the words to explain, but you guys know how you're feeling. Um, and it's being clarified by the death card. So you are going to come out of this um, time period. You are going to come out of this cycle and you are going to let um, this transition happen. And the third going into the fourth week of January, um, the divine feminine has the ace of pentacles in the fourth week clarified by the eight of cups. So she's wanting to start now. She's a gift from the universe will be coming in. But with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse in the beginning of the month, it's not coming yet. But she's ready for it. And she wants it now. And she can't figure out why the Divine Masculine is not moving on towards this connection yet. Um, because she has been ready. And Spirit is saying, even though you feel like you're ready, you are not healed. You are not ready for this connection yet. And that is part of what is keeping you guys apart. In the fourth week, the Divine Masculine is definitely not ready. He is stuck in his head. He is stressed out. He does not know what this connection is or why he can't explain it. And he's he's up in his head about all sorts of things. But um, he has the nine and the ten. So this is coming to an end. He, um, he feels like he betrayed his karmic partner that he's in a relationship with now. And he doesn't know what to do about it because he doesn't regret it, but he feels guilty about it, but he doesn't want to give the divine feminine up, but he feels like he did. He went about things the wrong way in the overall uh, energy of the divine feminine. It's the queen of swords um, in reverse clarified by the ace of swords in reverse. So, um, you're going to go out searching for answers from the Divine Masculine, but unfortunately, you're not going to get them this month. Um, with the Ace of Swords in reverse, there there is no clarity coming to the situation. He has no answers for you because he honestly don't know. When you say, why did you take off on me? Why did you do this to me? Why didn't you come back? Why did you just leave without ask, you know, telling me? Why did you disappear in the night? You know, all these questions. Why, why, why? He honestly is going to tell you he doesn't know, and he doesn't. <clears throat> excuse me um he he is unsure himself he he can't figure it out he cannot figure out what this connection and is doing to him or how why what when where he is just as confused um he's very confused he's very in his head about it um the overall energy for the um Divine Masculine for January is the Page of Pentacles in reverse. So he's not going to come back in the month of January, um, Gemini. I don't see it happening. Um, whether he be the Gemini or the Divine Feminine, he's not going to make an offer stability because he's not stable himself. He is out of sorts. Um, he he's There is no stability to offer because he's not stable and he has to deal with this karmic partner that he is still involved with. Also the mother of his children. He has to deal with that before he can come back to the divine feminine. And the divine feminine still has a lot of healing to do. And so does the divine masculine before this can come back into a, a connect or a union. I feel that you are at the beginning of your separation as well. Um, maybe three to six months into the relationship tops. Um, and spirit is reminding you to let go of control issues. This all happens in divine timing and you can not control the outcome of this. The only way you can control the outcome is by you healing. And while you heal, he heals. And then in time, divine timing, it'll unfold naturally. And this is, um, going to cause you to go into the hanging man, um, several times throughout this separation. Um, do you have any other messages for, yeah, you're hoping that he would come in um, on his night or on his horse and save the day and offer you his love, his cup, but it it can't happen yet. It it just is not time. There's just no healing that's been done yet. Um, you guys are very fresh into your separation. I'm getting any other messages that you want, Gemini? Yeah. Um, you are out of balance, Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine. Um, Spirit is encouraging you to um, start working on yourself. Um, go in deep within yourself. Um, look for 
any hurts and and start healing yourself because you can't come back into union until you're in balance. And Spirit just keeps saying that over and over again. Um, I'm hearing the Divine Feminine asking, you know, why? Why can't we do this? Why? And and Spirit is saying that you you got to heal. You have to heal and be perfectly in balance before this union can come together. Because a twin flame is a perfect mirror, a perfect soul uniting into one. Well, if one of you is out of balance, you will vibrate at different frequencies, causing you guys to repel each other or one to run and one to chase. Um, the divine masculine has a lot on his shoulders right now. And he's just trying to sort through what this connection was. He's very confused. Any other messages for our Gemini friends in the Twin Flame journey for January 2018? Yeah, there could be a codependency going on. Oops. Um, there could be a codependency going on, um, addictions. Um, but this is in reverse. So there is a... Um, Yeah, the Divine Masculine is really having to hold off his temptations to contact the Divine Feminine because he feels he has to end this the right way. He has to end things with his karmic partner correctly. And Spirit is saying to trust your gut, to trust your intuition, your um, instincts. Um, what you feel is usually what is going on. But to be careful to not let your ego get involved because when your ego gets involved it distorts your intuition and it makes you think that something's going on that's not any other message spirit um, the divine feminine you could feel like that you've been left out in the cold um, you feel like he abandoned you he up and left you after he promised you to be there forever, to um, be your soulmate, your twin flame, your, well, not even that. He doesn't even know what a twin flame is at this point. But you guys knew that there was a connection between the two of you that you have never felt before. You knew it was something special, like you had always known them. And it's because you have. This is your twin flame. This is your soulmate. And you just feel like, how could you have abandoned me after you promised me so much and now you don't even know which way to turn you don't know which what is going to happen what's not going to happen divine feminine but this is a person from your past lives this is your twin flame gemini but unfortunately it's not going to move forward right now because the divine masculine and there's another soulmate card the divine masculine wants to end wants to end things with his karmic partner the right way and for him himself he has to give it one more try he has to know that he tried everything and it still didn't work and he's still in the point right now of um halfway denying the connection that he felt with you because he can't explain it so out of fear what he cannot explain he is trying to deny which is a natural which is a thing that twin flames go through um it's part of most everybody's journey. So if you would like to look back at previous videos um, from, you know, September or around there, I know a lot of the collective was going through um, this journey that we speak of right now. Um, the divine masculine has the resting tree. So the spirit is just requesting that you take a step back. You, you, um, Take a step back, relax, and allow everything to go on in front of you. Um, enjoy the view. Um, because while you are sitting there resting in silence and quiet and living between the breaths we take, that is when you're going to hear the answers to your questions. And um, the Divine Feminine, you have the Swan Queen, which is transformation, intuition, and patience. Patience is key. All things happen in divine timing and in the order that they are meant to happen. We all signed up for our lives before we ever set foot on this earth. We knew it wasn't going to be easy. We knew it was going to be 
hard and try every part of our being um, to its breaking point. And that is why the reward is so great when you successfully come through it. Um, it asks you to look at your reflection in the events of your life. She gives you the ability to see the beauty that's transformed in front of you. Um, you have transformed ignorance to wisdom. And the Swan Queen lets you know that it's time to go within and seek the answers of your own intuition. Don't look outside yourself for answers now. And that's what I was saying too. Don't chase down the divine masculine to look for answers. Go within yourself. The true power lies reflected in the still waters within you. Now in this moment to meditate, now is the moment to meditate and ask for a vision, the power of perception and the Swan Queen will help you dive deep into yourself and find the answers you seek. This is also a reminder to allow time for ideas to transform into reality. Nothing happens overnight. So it's just reminding you that this connection is not going to go back to union in the snap of the fingers. And you have to dive deep within yourself to find the answers that you are looking for. Um, those are the messages I have for you, Gemini. Um, Spirit is requesting or suggesting um, for you to keep meditating, to stay grounded, to um, work on your healing your own hurts, to coming into balance. And when you heal yourself, you're healing your divine masculine at the same time. And just to really have patience and have faith. The main part of this journey is to remain with a sense of fate that this is going to happen. It's just going to happen in divine timing. So I hope you guys enjoyed your message. Um, just remember to be grateful, make a gratitude list, pray, meditate, um, and be patient. So that is the message I have for you, Gemini. I'm sending you love and light and God bless you. I hope you have a beautiful and amazing January and I will see you next time.